Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Foraturnia.com. I'm your host, AJ, and who are the fallen heroes of Preternia and Masters of the Universe Revolution? In the exciting conclusion of the new animated series, Masters of the Universe Revolution, available to stream right now on Netflix, fans were overjoyed to see that the realm of Preternia was restored by Tila in her new ultra-powerful form, the Trisorceress. Comparable to Valhalla in Norse mythology, where the souls of slain warriors were honorably received, Preternia is also a realm of great reward for dead heroes in the afterlife, and a realm that was recently and hopelessly destroyed by Dark Lynn in Masters of the Universe Revolution. Preternia, meet your destructor. But thankfully, in Masters of the Universe Revolution, Preternia was restored, resulting in a terrific group shot of our favorite heroic souls basking in their great reward, with the late King Randor soon to join them. Everything is as it should be. So who exactly were all these souls in Preternia? Keep watching to find out. Number 1. The Master Class Every legendary soul that we originally met in Preternia during the events of Masters of the Universe Revelation were returned to their rightful place in this honorable realm. Notably, the historic Kudak Ungol, Wondar, Hero, Vikor, and King Grayskull were all back, basking in their eternal reward. Mossman's soul was returned to Preternia as well. Number 2 Preternian Heroes The great souls of the Preternian heroes were also returned to Preternia. Who are the Preternian heroes, you ask? The Preternian heroes are a nameless bunch of heroes designed to fill out Preternia. These fallen souls could be seen in the afterlife at different times during the events of Masters of the Universe Revelation, but actually had no role to play in the series' narrative. Every series needs extras. So welcome back to Preternia, whoever you are. Number 3. Fisto and Clamchamp The last time we saw the two fan-favorite heroic warriors Fisto and Clamchamp, they were both condemned to a hellish eternity in Subternia thanks to the evil incarnate Skelegod. But now thanks to a daring rescue and the restoration of Preternia itself, fans can rest soundly at night knowing that this awesome duo is finally enjoying their great reward. Number 4. The Sorceress Tila Na, the mother of Tila and the sorceress of Castle Grayskull, met her demise in Masters of the Universe Revelation when Skelegod skewered her torso with his deadly sword. Subsequently tied to Castle Grayskull like a lingering ghost, Tila Na's soul finally finds peace in Masters of the Universe Revolution as she is released to her reward of afterlife in Preternia. Number 5. Granamir. Granamir the Magnificent, the helmet-wearing iconic dragon introduced in Masters of the Universe Revolution with a soul of uncertain fate, also entered the realm of Preternia. Heroically dying on the battlefield for the good of all Eternia, these acts of the fan-favorite dragon secured his place in the afterlife while possibly securing a future spot in Preternia for his partner in Penitence as well. Number 6. Stondar One of the two most surprising inclusions of this lineup in Preternia was Stondar, who appeared among the souls basking in their great reward. Not that the rock hero didn't deserve a fantastic afterlife, but Stondar, born of another world, instantly widened the entry parameters for Preternia. Previously considered an exclusive club for fallen heroes only on Eternia, it begs the question now, does the great reward of Preternia lie in wait for every fallen champion's soul on every planet across the entire universe? Inquiring minds want to know. Number 7. Roboto And finally, we have Roboto, arguably the most surprising and exciting soul to see in Preternia at the end of Masters of the Universe Revolution. In the moments before Roboto died in Masters of the Universe Revelation, 
The robot constructed by Man at Arms encountered a breakthrough when he experienced a sensation that he never experienced before. Roboto actually felt fear, ergo, he could feel. An emotion among a gamut of emotions that was previously alien to him, Roboto felt that he finally transcended into a deeper state of consciousness in his last moments, and the result was simply miraculous. Humans have often long since theorized this question in real life. Can a self-aware artificial intelligence have a soul? Can creating life untraditionally, from cloning a person to creating a being in digital space, produce that intangible spiritual essence that could live on beyond its body? While those questions may never be answered in real life, it certainly was answered in the latest animated series, Masters of the Universe Revolution, to intriguing results. Congratulations, Roboto. You are a real boy. Later joined by King Randor, these were the fallen heroes seen in Paternia at the end of Masters of the Universe Revolution. And be sure to re-watch this amazing animated series streaming right now on Netflix. Well, that's it. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.